So you're not familiar with your post through seven, the rules and regulations that govern conduct? I'm familiar with everything I need to be familiar well, with. Well, you don't have until a post. Until you show me, until you show me any kind of postal regulation, it's on post through seven, don't and you don't have it posted. To you. I guess this is a first. We're not walking up to the post office. We're already inside. And we're outside again. These are the people that are in charge of your ballots. Indeed. Is he is he trying to make a point? I mean, standing outside filming people working, that might be a thing that uh, frauditors do, but there's no point to be made here other than him being useless. Oh, I get it. He was trying to imply that these people are useless. I see. These are the people that are driving your ballots around, driving your votes around. The date is October 2020. Oh no, <laughs> he's got a voiceover intro. All that's missing is, the, you know, the little text uh, where he is and then the date and uh, the time, maybe. Uh, well, I guess this one is the first one that does actually some bloody editing. And he can't take this back. I mean, he's outside again. He's supposed to be inside the bloody post office. It's a peaceful day. A great day to engage in our constitutionally protected First Amendment rights of public photography. Today we are in Leslie, Michigan. Freedom News Now is on the front lines to hold accountable this U.S. post office to ensure it fully complies with Poster 7. The rules and regulations governing conduct on postal service property. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but you could have done that much better with a better voiceover, you know? Something along the lines of, In a world where post office and postal workers work, there's one man, a frauditor to be exact, who will enter the post office and film. Now, if he were to read the entire Poster 7, he would have known that he had to get permission from the postmaster. Today, we will see him in action to see if he can read. While gathering content for our story, we observe an unmarked van pull up and unload several large bins full of mail and election ballots. Oh great, he's, he's still going. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's continue then, shall we? At one point, he observes a van driving. Now this van is transporting something valuable. Voting ballots which have to go to the post office. This man is about to figure out this particular thing. The large bins were transferred into the Leslie U.S. Post Office by unmarked persons. Yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. After observing the strange behavior, Freedom News Now went inside to continue our investigation. Upon entering, we noticed no Poster 7 or other important signs posted to show Leslie U.S. Post Office follows the rules and regulations which govern the conduct on postal service property. When asking the U.S. Post Office employee about following U.S. Post Office rules and regulations, she gave a nasty reply. Uh-huh. Oh, come on, man. We just saw this. Now you're going to repeat it. And we're going to do another voiceover. You're also outside again. Come on. Get into the post office. Do your stupid thing so we can laugh at you. All right? Lovely. For fuck's sake. Fast forward. This guy's even worse than the other fraudsters. He goes outside before he goes in. Hmm? These are the people that are in charge of your ballots. These are the people that are driving your ballots around, driving your votes around. So you're not familiar with your post through seven, the rules and regulations that govern conduct? I'm familiar on... with everything I need to be familiar well, with. Well, you don't until have a post you show me, Until you show me any kind of postal regulation. It's on post through seven, and you don't have it posted. The Leslie, Michigan, U.S. Post Office clearly has something to hide. Oh, come on, man. 
<laughs> you got yeah, it's clearly got something to hide. These people are just working, you know, bringing in the mail, bringing in the ballots, and now this guy is just filming. If you were filming something that is shady, why didn't they say anything? Not to mention, wh when are you for auditors actually gonna read the entire post 7? Because the little snippet that is on there is already debunking anything you have ever said. A post 7 in, in and of itself is a much a bigger, it's a very, I will link it in the description. Maybe you guys will read it someday, hmm? And not selectively. For fuck's sake. Oh great, is this just gonna be another intro at the end of the video? That is not how that works, mate. They will do anything to keep those secrets from the people of Leslie. So the question is, what are they hiding? Why the fear of transparency and accountability? Share your comments below. Freedom Fighters, if you like this First Amendment audit of the Leslie Michigan U.S. Post Office uncovering potential corruption, like and share this video, subscribe, ring the bell to enable all notifications. Remember, not one of us is stronger than all of us. Rise up together and fully support the First Amendment audit community. Always record, stay strong, never give up. And we'll see you at the next High Impact First Amendment audit. Freedom News Now, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> wow.